Hey, hello and welcome back and today we're going to continue looking at mobile apps for NAS and today we're going to turn the spotlight onto Acer Store. Now we've talked about Acer Store a lot in the last few weeks particularly with the release of their new Nimbus Store NAS. I've not been you know holding back too much on this I do think it is a very very good thing for the NAS industry that we're seeing more affordable two and a half gigabit Ethernet solutions. 10 gigs good but it's still outside the price range of a number of us. Now because I've been talking a lot about the Acer Store NAS and of course ADM and how it compares with Synology's DSM and QNAP's T uh, QTS software, I thought it right that we start looking at their mobile apps as well because it is a rounded package and you want to know that all the elements of this purchase are right for you. Now as you can see on the screen we're using my mobile phone as always and before we forget say hello to Tammy the cat. We're going to be carrying on and looking at all these individual apps. We're going to do a different video for each app um, and each of them we're going to go into with a Nimbus Store 4 NAS. I'm going to get out of the way straight away, just like with all of my mobile app videos. One, we have disconnected all connectivity to the internet. We're only using network connectivity here because I don't want pop-ups on my phone throughout the video. But also, this is about security, and I know a number of you only like to access your NAS in the most secure fashion possible over the internal network. So because of that, these apps I'm testing in a non-internet environment and only using network connectivity over the internet, uh, over Wi-Fi to a wireless area. So as you can see there, top left, we're using a Wi-Fi uh, plug-in adapter there that's going into a switch with no internet, but I do have network connectivity. And if there are blips during the recording of this video because of that, that may be because of that internet connectivity. So I'll try and highlight those throughout. But today we're going to look at the very simple app known as AI Data. This is the file manager application from Asus Store. Now I've already added the NAS, as you can see on the screen there, but if you do want to add a NAS or if you've got multiple Asus Store NASs on your screen, you can head up here, press play, and you can either add your internet access which is when you first set up your Acer Store NAS you can set up a cloud link with it create an account and with that DDNS support and internet portal access to your NAS you can create a connection between your mobile phone and the NAS via the internet choosing that top option the second option is to connect via the local area network with an IP which you can add manually or auto discovery there at the bottom will allow you to scan your local area network and found the, fan, find the NAS on your network, which is what we've done here. I'll also mention that all of the apps I'll be talking about in the videos, both in this one and the ones that follow, are all free and available on iOS for the most part, and all of them are available on Android. So, let's go into our NAS. I've already logged in in advance, but normally it will prompt you to add, the, add um, your username and password. And here we have the rather streamlined user interface of the Acer Store AI um, app here. Now, this is the one for, as I say, browsing on a file folder level. This is a file manager first and foremost. You can utilize it for other things, and it does give you the ability to monitor certain upload and download things happening in the background. As well as that, there are individual settings for this app, but they're pretty limited, to be honest. Um, if I was a harsher critic than I am, and I always try to stay positive where possible, I would say this is a little bit um, scant on details, this application. It is a file manager, and it does what it says, but there's still no denying it's quite simplistic overall. You've got a search functionality there at the top, the spyglass. I'm not going to search too much there, but what we'll do is we'll make our way into the media of this NAS. I'll try and find the right folder, in fact, that I've stored everything. Make our way back. So any of the more eagle-eyed of you probably remember which folder it's in. There you go, it's in the home folder. Now these are the folders we created for our Nimbus Store overview videos and media testing. So for now, let's go for a photo. Let's go to the pictures folder. Let's look at a night out with friends. Here are all the photos here. And straight away, the first thing that disappoints me ever so slightly is no thumbnails. I kind of expected there to be thumbnails and we've already checked this NAS out on a desktop. And these photos have been on here for quite a long time. So I'm kind of disappointed that there isn't immediately thumbnails presented to me. At the top, you've got lots of options there. And finally, the thumbnail generation is catching up. So let's pick a file here. Let's go for that one. Let that open up there. And there's the photo we're dealing with. We can zoom in here. And it is, it should be added 
a low spec version of the photo in here. The original photo that was taken is pretty large. It's about 4,000 pixels uh, in width. And from here, we can download this file. We can go through all these different options. Now we can create a share link that allows us to share this file over either via the internet or the local area network and get a link that's generated. You can also say how long you want that link to last in terms of days, minutes, hours, etc. Or you can add a password to this file if you so choose to make sure that even if someone gets hold of the link, they still need the right password to get that file. So say we wanted to create a local area network link, we can change that option down, but for the most part, it's all pretty straightforward there. If we make our way back, we can also download this file to our local system. So if we click download, we'll allow that to download to my machine. And it's still asking me to go through individual files and folders there, which is a little disappointing if I'm honest. But if we make our way back, we can there are the individual files and folders on my local phone. So we'll pick a different file. I'll let that one open. And as you can see, they're all laughing, but it's still incredibly pixelated there because we're looking at a low res version. From here, we just need to select where we want this file to be downloaded to. So let's go straight into the root directory there and just download that file immediately. The file has now been added to tasks and that will now be downloaded in the background on my phone. And again, we're not seeing those thumbnails generated too much. Let's refresh that list to see if that's just something happening there in the background. But it's that straightforward to at least download files, although we are starting to see those thumbnails being generated. I think it just took a little bit longer there, but we'll make our way back. So say, for example, we've looked at a picture. Now let's look at a music file. So if we go into the music options here, these are some of the files on my system. So let's go into the Oasis Greatest Hits and go from here. And again, no thumbnail generated there, which I guess I wouldn't expect from a file manager, but it's still a little disappointing that it's not there. So next, let's click a file. So we can see right now that it's opened up here in front of me and the music's just making its way to my phone now. A little slower than I would have liked, if I'm honest. And if we click play there, we're still not hearing that file yet. So again, not quite as responsive as I would have liked. Let's try one more file. At least the album cover's downloaded there. Let's go for another file. Let's double check if that was a one-off. We're still not seeing any activity there with the music. So again, not perfect there. And I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed by that. Finally, let's make our way into videos. Because videos, let's face it, is what a lot of you are going to care the most about when enjoying big files on your NAS. Let's go for the retro stock footage. And this is where we've got some old uh, videos from the Internet Archive to enjoy. Again, no thumbnails yet. But we have only run this just recently. So we've opened up an image there. That's the video that's inside. Let's click play. And it's inviting us to use one of our preset video players. Now, a number of the reviews on this application did highlight that MX Player was the recommended video player in here, all using VLC. I kind of would have hoped that utilising their own media player would have been sufficient. We do still have all of the options that we've seen before for sharing these files, for downloading the file or creating a share link. But still, nevertheless, it's a little disappointing that we're not seeing that there. We've got another file. Let's try and play that one. And I believe this is an old cooking advert one. But unfortunately, no, we're still not getting anything from that. So, again, we've got that file downloaded there in the background. We can say that that's done. Likewise, why don't we try to upload a file to this NAS? Let's see where we do that. So let's go back into my media directory. Let's go for a picture of my sleepy cat. There we go. Now let's see if we can upload this file to this now so we go to share this is using the google options and we're going to let that scan my local directory and we're going to find that application here then we're going to choose to upload this photo with ai data to this nas so we pick the folder download and we put it into that download folder click upload and the task is going to be happening there in the background. It's worth mentioning that's quite a big media file. But it really is that straightforward to enjoy the files on this NAS. We'll go back into it there. But overall, I've got to say I'm not hugely bowled over.
by the AI data application. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the rest of the Acer Store app videos because there's a couple of the other apps that are available for Acer Store that I was really impressed by, but sadly, this was not one of them. But what we're going to do now is we're going to end the video here and make our way into the next one. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, the next video will be on the AI photo application, which is your photo management tool to connect with your Acer Store NAS, which is a little bit more impressive, I've got to say, but there's still no denying um, the file manager application did at least do did what it said on the tin. It let me manage files. Didn't do it in an incredibly awe-inspiring way, but it gave me that level of access. And let's face it, that's what's the most important. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on Acer Store's mobile apps and, of course, all things to do with NAS before you make your purchase. Thank you so much for watching. Cheerio.